Okay, hey everybody, welcome to another 15 Minute Friday with Heralds. I'll be your host for today where we are going to talk about an exciting new frontier in the world of beneficial plant health promoting microorganisms, as well as a new product from Heralds called Azo Root. So without further ado, let's get after it. So a few key things I'd like uh, you to gain from this brief presentation. First, the major issues facing microbial-based products and their uses in the turf and agricultural industry today. Next, I'd like to introduce or maybe reintroduce the plant health-promoting bacterial organism known as Azosporellum brassilens, or as I'll refer to it often as Azo. I'll then tell you about an exciting new advancement in the world of biological products, which is a packaging innovation that allows for on-site on-demand brewing of fresh microbes that makes application easy and ensures success with these microorganisms. We'll then learn how this innovation is being used in the new Azo Rude product. I'll discuss some of the research on this new Herald's offering and show you how it has a fit in any turf, landscape, or horticultural program to help with rooting, establishment, and overall plant health and functionality. So, as many of you probably know, if you're tuning into this, the soil microbiome is a highly complex ecosystem. Microorganisms contribute to plant health in numerous ways, some of which you can see are listed and described here. And over the years, science has been able to isolate and grow certain organisms of interest that can aid in things like root growth, nutrient cycling, disease suppression, and other plant and soil health functions. The hope is that once we isolate these organisms individually, we can then grow them to high concentrations and inoculate them out onto our turf or agricultural fields to increase or improve the benefits that these organisms have to offer. Now, in a laboratory or controlled environment, this is often successful and it makes great sense, it works well. The problem is when we scale that up for large acreage, type applications, these organisms or bugs in the jug are very inconsistent or worse, don't perform at all. And there are many reasons why this happens, namely the survivability or shelf life of the bug. Oftentimes they don't survive very well inside that jug when moving through our traditional supply chains. If the bug is able to survive in the jug, is it at high enough concentrations to actually work? Oftentimes, these organisms need to be in the billions of cells or colony forming units per droplet of water to truly make an impact. This can be very difficult to maintain that level of concentration in a product that sits on the shelf for any length of time. We are dealing with a living organism, remember. And if we can not achieve these top objectives, the next question becomes one of economics. Is the product affordable enough to justify an application? And if so, how often do we actually have to apply it to impart the benefit on the plant? Sometimes this is as frequently as every few days, which then becomes a matter of labor and resources that many managers and growers aren't willing to, to take on. And finally, how many hoops or hassles are there to deal with when applying the product? Do we need to refrigerate it? You know, Can we adopt this into our normal spray programs for it to be really truly widely accepted and adopted into the mainstream. As you can see, it's a pretty lengthy checklist, but important questions that we need to ask of these products for them to truly have a fit in most people's um, agricultural or agronomic programs, if you will. Now, Azosperlum brassilens is one of those beneficial bugs that the agricultural industry has known about for quite some time. It is a gram negative alpha proteobacterium that has been widely studied and used as a plant growth promoting rhizobacteria or PGPR. Now azosperlum works in two important and distinct ways. First, it can fix small amounts of atmospheric nitrogen and convert them into plant available or usable forms. Secondly, and most importantly, the bacterium associates itself with plant roots and produces a number of beneficial compounds, most notably, the root growth promoting compound known as indolacetic acid or IAA. Now over the decades of research and findings with, with azosperlum, some of the documented benefits 
of this bacterium when applied to plants are things like enhancement of overall root development, length, function, um, surface area, faster establishment and recovery from damage, abiotic stress mitigation from things like heat stress, drought stress, traffic stress, cold stress, et cetera, and just better overall nutritional efficiencies. So while azospirillum is a great candidate for a microbial product to help grow pr plant roots, the research that has been done over the years, and here you can just see a small sample size of some of the peer-reviewed journal articles on azospirillum, this research has clearly pointed to the effects of azo being highly dependent on concentration of the living organism. If we don't have fresh, living, high concentration of the azospirillum bacterium upon the application out onto our plants, then the effects of rooting or plant health improvements are not likely going to be consistent out in the field. So this is where the new solution from a company called 3-Bar Biologics comes in. The live microbe technology system uses a patented packaging system to ensure fresh, high concentrations of azospirillum are grown on demand prior to the application out in the field. This is a just-in-time fermentation technology, really, that overcomes the shelf life issues most azo products suffer in today's traditional supply chain. It gives this product, azo root, a 10 plus month shelf life when it sits in its unactivated state. It's a very easy to use concept that fits with most agronomic spray programs and azo root is compatible with most other soil targeted products, including fungicides, insecticides, nematicides, fertilizers, wetting agents, and so on and so forth. So here's how azo root works. The azospirillum bacteria are stored inside the cap of this container in a cryogenically frozen freeze-dried state. The sealed system ensures that they remain undisturbed until you choose to activate them. At least three days before you're ready to spray, you unseal and twist the cap to dispense this powdered bacterial into a liquid growth medium inside the box. The bacteria then grow and reach maximum concentrations after 72 hours. You now have fresh, living, high concentrations of the azobacteria ready to spray on demand. Inside that box is a bag of growth media. Here we can see on the left a bag, what that looks like with the bacteria that have not yet been activated or dispensed into that liquid. On the right, you can see what that liquid media looks like 72 hours after the application or activation of the azospirillum from the cap down into the broth medium. The concept really using simple packaging innovation to optimize a well-known and well-established beneficial microbe was very interesting and exciting to us at Harold's. And we wanted to put it to the test to see how it would perform on both turf grass as well as certain ornamental uh, settings. So first we conducted a trial at Virginia Tech University with Dr. Zuzong Zhang, um, a well-known turf grass and plant physiologist. And this trial was done under controlled conditions on a creeping bent grass stand under moderate heat stress. We treated the bent grass with azo root either alone or in combination with a molasses-based microbial food source product called soil enhancer. These treatments were applied either once per month or every two weeks for two months. And all treatments were immediately watered in to the root zone after they were applied to the turf. The results were outstanding to say the least. Azo root alone improved root growth up to 52% as well as many other physiological health indicators when compared to the control. When combined with soil enhancer, that molasses-based microbial food source, the improvements were even more pronounced, increasing root length and surface area up to 75% when applied on a bi-weekly basis over the course of the two-month trial. These results clearly illustrate the root growth and plant health benefits associated with azo root but also how we can overcome some of the major issues when we can apply or ensure that we can apply fresh high concentrations of azospirillum 
using this unique packaging system. Now, similar results were noticed in various trials and grower demonstrations. Here you can see the rooting enhancement with just a single treatment of azoroot root on cocoa plum transplants when compared to a grower standard program on the left. In this golf course demonstration example, we can see two applications of azo root on the right half of this fairway, showing a much healthier, more consistent and uniform stand of turf coming off of a significant several week drought in this particular region of the country last summer. Once again, the right side of the fairway treated with two applications of azo root on a 14 day schedule, while the left side received the standard program with no azo root. Now, we are excited to have Azo Root available for sale exclusively through Herald's. Um, and, and I wanted to share a few key points and kind of BMPs or best management practices around the product. First, this is a very easy to use product. You simply activate it by twisting the cap three to seven days before you're ready to spray to allow for that optimal growth of the bacterium within the jug. Once activated, you'll want to use the product within 30 days to ensure optimal viability. You have some flexibility once you activate and it's growing again you got about a month before that product starts to to lose viability or spoil and so there's a lot of flexibility there for pretty much any situation if you run into some rainy days or some uh, not ideal situations where you got to sit on that product for a few days before you put it out that's fine easel root is compatible with most other plant nutrition and protection products we do recommend you monitor tank ph when mixing this product with uh, with other um, plant inputs in a tank mix situation. This is because acidic conditions below pH of four can compromise the viability of the azobacterium. Now, this is a pretty rare in most spray tank situations, but definitely worth mentioning to uh, ensure that you have the best experience with this product. One container of azo root can treat up to four acres of turf grass area or 400 gallons of spray solution for ornamental sprays or drench applications. And the reapplication recommendations for best results are between 14 and 28 days in a programmatic approach throughout the growing season. Again, this is a product that you're, you're going to want to kind of time it around optimal root growth of your plants. And so when soil temperatures are conducive to, to plant root growth, you're going to want to use this product to help those plants push uh, roots in the best way possible or most efficient way possible. Azo root does contain a living soil bacterium and it should be watered into the upper root zone of your system as soon as possible after application. Uh, this helps to avoid any sort of UD, UV degradation or uh, photo degradation if this product were to sit on, on top of the canopy for extended periods of time. Get that product watered in with at least an eighth of an inch of post app irrigation where possible. So as I mentioned, Harold's is very excited and proud to bring Azo Root into our portfolio of plant and root health solutions. The recent success of another microbial root growth product known as Mycorrhizae Pro offers us even more options in a programmatic or holistic approach to microbial root health. So you have the Azo Root, which enhances root development with the natural stimulation of root growth by the Azosperlum bacterium. While the fungal organism is in Mycorrhizae Pro aids in the expansion function and nutritional uptake of the root system throughout the season. This is a great kind of one-two punch and a very unique one exclusive to Harold's with these two uh, microorganism-based products. So check out uh, the Harold's website, our YouTube page, or reach out to your Harold's representative to learn more about this exciting new product in Azo Root. Um, we look forward to hearing your feedback, and we certainly look forward to talking more about this product throughout the rest of this season and beyond. So with that, that ends today's 15-Minute Friday. I thank you for your time. We'll catch you next time.